Hi, my name is Kelly McIllagott and I'm one of the educators with Bywater Solutions and I have this short tutorial on how to create a report for your library by using the Koha Report Wiki. One of the great advantages of being with Koha is the community that it exists around the world. The community joins together and shares resources. So there's this great resource called the Koha Report Wiki that partners and Koha users around the world add their reports that they've had created for their own library and put it in a central location that you can grab one of those reports and use it for your library. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. I'm going to go over to the report module on the staff client. And here, <clears throat> Right here in the report section, at the bottom, we have this link called Koha Reports Library. Clicking that will bring you to another tab. So I'm still in my Koha um, tab, but I now have another tab open to this wiki page that includes all these reports for Koha Libraries. So as I scroll down, you'll see that there are reports starting and hold. So each of these um, links is a report. We can go down to patron reports, circulation reports, course reserve reports, cataloging reports, the list just goes on. I would say there's probably 700 reports, accounting reports, statistical reports, notice reports, acquisitions reports, zero reports. It goes on and on. Um, so there are hundreds of reports that could be used for your library. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So I'm going to go ahead and look for a, um, a checkout report. Let's see. Let's. So I'm going to go ahead and click one of these checkouts by item type. And here I have a report that um, tells me the title, who created it, we have the module that it's used in, and then there's a, a simple purpose statement. So this says it will show checkouts per item type in that period of time, which would lead me to be able to decide what period of time I'm looking for to run this report, which I love that flexibility, and that I have a status of complete. If you find a report that's not complete or pending or incomplete, then it probably is still being worked on by that um, Koha community member. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this report. So the report that I want is actually in this dotted blue box. So I'm going to go just copy and paste. So I'm just going to copy this whole what's called an SQL statement and I'm going to hit um, copy. So I'm going to grab that. Now I'm going over to my other Koha tab and here I am back on that report page that we started on and we had clicked this link and I'm going to go to this create from SQL link here in the guided reports. By clicking the create from SQL, I'm given a um, simple report form that it would like me to create a name. I can tell Koha what module it is in. I have an area for notes and then I have this SQL box. So I'm actually going to add the SQL first because I know it's copied right now on my computer and I'm just going to paste it into this section. A good part to note while doing this copy and paste, sometimes we can grab a space right before that S um, as we do that copy and paste and that will produce an error. So I want to make sure that my cursor is right up against that capital S is right up against the box, which it is. I'm hitting backspace and nothing's happening. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, give this report a name. So it said uh, this one was called Checkout by Item Types. And then I actually can create a report group, um, choose my report group. I actually have my own folder available if I wanted to, but I'm going to put this in my circulation tab. Then I have this notes section, which I really find useful. I can actually attach the URL from where I found this report so I can easily access it later. So I'm going to go back up there, grab the um, URL and just paste it into this box. 
Now I'm all done. I've added my SQL. I've given it a name and I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Okay, once I had hit saved, I have some options up here. If I wanted to do any of these, I edit this report, duplicate this report. I've yet to see what the results are, so I'm going to go ahead and hit run this report, which is right here, or I could use this box right here. Um, now, it looks like I can grab a date range, which I was hopeful for. My site actually doesn't get a lot of business, so I'm going to give it a big old range of dates. But you could do this monthly, you could do it per week. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab, um, go ahead and hit run. So here I have, it's a really simple report. I can see the item type and the number of checkouts that have happened between these dates. So this would be a great yearly um, re report maybe or monthly to see what actually is being checked out. At this point, I can see a little bit of the information I left. I have, I have those that URL. If I wanted to look again at the SQL, I have this SQL show button and I can actually see the SQL that I had put in there. So this is a great resource to know about this Koha report library and over on the left I actually have another this link kind of follows you around in this report module so I have it here. Um, again this report library is is open and available to go ahead and grab those any of these reports that look really interesting to you and you think will work in your library go ahead and use those now I'm going to go ahead and show you how you find your report once you save it in there so I'm going to go back to that report live report tab using my breadcrumbs at the top and now I'm going to go to this used save when I go to my used save, I can actually see all my reports that I have in my um, Koha system. I have those modules up here, so I can go ahead and check my circulation tab, and there it is. You can see this is the one I just created. Those notes show up nice and clear. It tells you that I did it, what day I created it, and when I last ran it. And easily I could run it again right from here. So this is a great resource, please go ahead and use it, but if you have any questions or need help with this process, go ahead and submit a ticket with us at Bywater. Thank you so much for watching. This tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions. Have a great day.